Do you have a hard time accepting mistakes that you've made in the past? Do you struggle with being too hard on yourself because of past trauma that you may or may have not caused? If you say yes to any of these answers, this video is for you. Let's go. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ari. If you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to our family, our community. We appreciate you for being here. We are gathered here today for another video. And today we're going to talk all about how to forgive yourself for things that you may or may not have caused. We're going to talk about both ends of the stick because it's time for us to start pouring into ourselves. It's time for us to work on self-improvement so we can be better human beings. It's a lot of evil going on in this world, so the least we can do is work on ourselves. Do y'all agree? So the first thing that we have to address is what does it even look like to not forgive yourself? I know y'all like Ari. I don't even know if I'm struggling with this. Well, let's identify, okay? So, this is what not forgiving yourself could look like. Y'all ever met someone who is like, you could just sense that they're a negative person. They always speak negatively. Like, the first thing out their mouth is something negative before it's something positive. Maya... She thinks negatively. She says negative things. She's insecure. She she has poor communication skills. Like she do not know how to speak to someone in a respectful manner. And ultimately, she just struggles with low self-esteem. Because she's struggling with forgiving herself and it's starting to exude in her energy. She just feels like a ball of negativity, like the world is against her and she doesn't know what to do in order to get herself from out of this situation. We're going to help Maya, okay? And if you're Maya, hey girl, like it's okay. If you're Maya, it is okay because I was once Maya before and I know so many people who are Mayas in this world. Maya, we're gonna help you girl. But before we actually get into the steps that we're gonna take to help you, the first thing we have to do is identify what is self-forgiveness, okay? So, let me pull out my hymn, handy dandy notebook, and read what forgiveness is. Forgiveness. Is the deliberate decision to let go of feelings and anger, feelings of anger, resentment, and retribution towards someone you believe has wronged you. In other words, it just means that you accept the behavior, you accept what happens, and you are willing to move past it and move on with your life. Period. So do we get what forgiveness is? You accepted what happened. You acknowledged what happened and you're willing to move past it and move on with your life. That's what forgiveness is. And honestly, in that definition, it basically tells you the steps that you have to take. But that can sound like, oh, you can tell me that, but what does that even look like? Like, I don't, I don't really know how to do that guess what girl that's fine that's what we're here for so boom let's get into the four r's the first r which we <laughs> just defined but i know that the r's will be something that y'all will more likely remember so the first r is responsibility Taking responsibility for your actions is nothing more sexier than taking responsibility and acknowledging when you are wrong. It's nothing more sexy than that. Think about when you're in a relationship with your man. And he say, you got you come to him with an issue. And he say, you know what, baby? You right. And I'm sorry. I acknowledge that what I did was wrong. I couldn't handle that better. Don't that just make us just melt? But think of that 
that just with regular people. People who you're not in a relationship. Think about it with friendships. Family. It's the same thing. People appreciate when you can acknowledge that you did something wrong to them. And if it's vice versa. Someone did something wrong with you. To you. Then you will appreciate that person coming and saying, hey, I know what I did was wrong. I'm sorry. But you wouldn't appreciate if someone was like, I ain't do nothing to you. Or I'm sorry for whatever I did to you. Like, that's not genuine. That's not sincere. You're not going to, to take that and accept that. So the first thing you got to do is take genuine responsibility like, dang. I really could have not did that. Like, that was so wrong of me. Or number two, showing remorse. You can say things like, I am so sorry for what I've done. I'm so sorry that I hurt you and I acknowledge my mistake. That was very wrong of me. That's showing remorse. That's just showing that you you analyze the situation and you realize what you could have did differently and you realize what you did was wrong and now it's time to acknowledge that wrongness hey i know i fucked up and i am very sorry and i hope that you can forgive me but you don't actually need that forgiveness from that other person you don't need that validation from that other person as long as you forgive yourself once you can say Okay, what I did was wrong. I'm going to apologize for it. After that, forgive yourself. Because you cannot take responsibility for how someone else, else feels from that point forward. Because you made it right on your end. So if they want to dwell on it or act stupid and funny and crazy, let them. But you don't have to let that affect you. Because guess what? You acknowledge what you did was wrong and you apologize for it. Boom. Third R, restoration. So now after you apologize and, and you say that you were sorry, now you can say, okay, I did that. And I feel good about doing that. And now let me see what I can do to work on myself to prevent this from happening going forward because I don't want to continue to hurt someone. Boom. You're restoring yourself. You're restoring your faith in yourself. You're restoring your energy because... People make mistakes all the time. Hell, I make mistakes. You make mistakes. Everybody make mistakes. But it's how you move when you do make the mistakes. It's what genuinely matters. All right. And the last thing is renewal. You becoming the new version of yourself after experiencing that. This is what happened. Now it's time for me to move on. I already acknowledged, took responsibility. I already apologized and showed remorse. I already restored myself by coming up with better ways that I can handle this situation in the future. So now I'm a new person. I'm a new version of myself. I know how to handle myself in the event that this was to happen again. I'm renewed. It's me. Hello. Nice to meet you. You never met me before. You met the past version of me. You never met this version of me before. Okay? So, hey, let me introduce myself. <laughs> like, period. Because people can evolve and change whenever they decide to. We all have the freedom to do this. Everybody has the ability to do this. And I am here to tell you and to bring awareness that we do. If you wake up and say, I want to be a better person, that day you can be a better person. Just follow these steps that I'm giving you. And you can actually develop yourself into a higher version of yourself. You don't want to go back to what it was when you did not forgive yourself. You did you remember do you remember all the things that I said at the beginning? Those four things that I listed. That is so depressing who wants to live like that who wants to live with insecurities who wants to live with the first thing to come to their mind something negative every experience is negative it's just a ball of negativity you got low self-esteem you don't know how to speak to someone in a proper manner who wants to first of all who wants to deal with that but also who wants to live like that like 
no one wants to live a negative life. If you had the choice to live a negative life or a, or a positive life, I'm pretty sure 100% of the people is going to say a positive life. Okay, so you have to create that positive life for you. That's the thing. Nobody is going to come in and save the day. That is not what's going to happen. You got yourself and you got the Lord and you got God. You have to be intentional about the decisions that you make because your choices and your decisions ultimately dictate how your life is going to be. They're going to. It's going to dictate the results of your life. If you choose to go down a negative path and live a negative life, you're going to have negative results. You're not going to be happy ever in your life. But as soon as you make the decision to wake up and be better, be someone that you never was, be living your higher purpose, you're going to live an abundant life. And that's just how it works. It's hard to do, but it's simple. It's a simple process that's hard to do. Going back to the topic of how to forgive yourself, it's not easy. It's something where you're going to have highs and lows with. You're going to have them depressed days. You're going to have them days where you're up and happy. But at the, at the end of the day, if you get more consistent with the things that we discussed today, and actually apply it to your life and apply it, in all areas of your life where you do feel like it's negativity there or you do feel like okay hey this part of my life i can improve in life will get better and i can guarantee that life can be get better once you actually put in the work and you have to be consistent it's not something that you could just do one day and expect miracles no if you go back and watch my trauma series where I lay out all of my childhood trauma up until college, you will see that I had a lot of negative emotions and negative feelings. And I, I really feel like I had a negative freaking life. Like, up until this point, my life has been negative. Sure, I've had high points or happy moments. But overall, across the board, it's been negative and it affected me in a negative way and while I was going through that process of forgiving myself which is documented I, I uh, posted I posted all throughout that time and look at how I look in that video those videos I was going through it and I looked like I was going through it but God told me to turn on that camera and capture these moments because it's going to help someone. And the process is not pretty. It was days where I didn't even want to get out the bed. It was just days where I just really felt sorry for myself. Like, how did my life become of this? You know, I didn't recognize myself. But I had to forgive myself for things that I didn't cause and for things that I did cause. And once I forgave myself and I decided to pick myself back up and pour into myself and love myself the way that I love other people, that's how my life started changing. That's how my life started changing. God had to, it was literally like God sat here on my bed and sat me down like, look. These areas of your life, you need to completely change. Like, y'all, when I say it was not my decision, it was like, God was like, not even that you need to, you're going to change. He was like, okay, I'm tired of you living this life. This is not the life that I had destined for you. And it seems like you're not learning and you're not getting it. So let me sit you down for eight months. Let me sit you down for eight months. And I'm not talking about no pregnancy. That was like my depression stage for eight months let me sit you down and take everything from you take everything from you everything that you thought you needed i'm taking everything from you that man that house money you need to go within and find happiness within yourself and be able to appreciate yourself this is what i'm feeling like god is telling 
saying to me. But now that I'm out of it and God restored me by giving me the means to be able to get my nails done again, I appreciate it so much more. Like y'all almost cry when I put my feet in that pedicure water. Like, I'm still cheap. It did make me cheap too. And yeah, that's a whole nother story for another day. But the point of the matter is, the point that I'm trying to make is, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be pretty. That's just what it is. But at the end of it all, you're going to be much wiser. You're going to be even more beautiful. You're going to be stronger because you're going to look at yourself like, damn, I really pulled myself up. I really pulled myself up. Okay? And it's going to just make everything more meaningful. And you're actually going to be happier because you're releasing all of that past trauma off of you. You're going to feel like a breath of fresh air. And I'm very appreciative for it. Because I am proud of the woman that I am today. Okay? And you should be proud of the woman or the man you are today. Because you put in that work. And you took control of your life. And you decided to make a difference and change your circumstances. And that is empowering that is beautiful and it's amazing. But unfortunately, this video has come to an end. But I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'm not just telling y'all that, just to tell y'all that. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will definitely see y'all in the next one. Mwah! Peace and love.